A community shows its support for a police officer who lost his life in a vehicle crash. Good evening, I'm Katie Eusen. And I'm Mark Allen. The makeshift memorial is still growing, and many of you continue to share your stories with us about Officer David Yaney. Jordan Burgess live in Englewood with a man who actually saw the accident happen. It is our top story at 6. Well, just amazing the number of people who have been out at this memorial where Officer Yaney lost his life. Some, I think, may have even been on the wrong side of the law in their run-ins with Yaney, but even they had nothing but good things to say about him. But what they all want to know is just what caused him to crash. So in addition to talking to friends, we tracked down the man who saw it all happen to see if he could help with some answers. He was the one who made them laugh, but now it's hard not to think of him and cry. Then later, to get the phone call, that was, that was a tough day. Carl Bush looks out on the ravine that claimed the life of his friend, Trotwood Officer Dave Yaney. The two knew each other for more than 40 years. Dave was the one that always did something that had everybody cracked up and laughing and, and uh, made us happy. What many can't understand is what happened that caused Janey to lose control of his truck yesterday morning and plunge into the ravine. We've learned his autopsy lists the crash and drowning as causes of death. It shows he had a heart condition, but the coroner says we may never know if a heart attack or something else led to the crash. But the man who saw it all happen thinks it was one of two things. I thought either the guy fell asleep or he's had a heart attack. We spoke with the truck driver who was first at the scene of the crash and called for help. He didn't want to go on camera, but he says he'd never seen a truck do what Yaney's did and fly over the guardrail. Like a stunt show or something where somebody was, you know, for a vehicle to go up like that. The driver says he's not sure, but thought he heard Yaney after the crash. It sounded like a, a real weak, like somebody like help, you know, but you couldn't hear it very loud. But with the darkness at the time and the steep drop, no one could get to Yaney. It's one of those things where you, you know, been daylight or something, you wish there's more you could do. And we've learned that funeral services for Yaney will be held Monday at Phillips Temple Church in Trotwood. For more details on exact times and the visitation days, visit our website, WDTN.com. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.